I thought about my decision, and I agreed. I am, in fact, going back into the forest. There's more I can do, but you know what? Why do it all at once? I think it might be better to do another turn trip. And get out of my way. I don't want to fight you guys. I was going to speed my way through here so we get back to the mansion. And then go beyond it. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Paper Mario. This is your host, MJ406. Oh, right, this way. Ha-ha! <laughs> you can't see where I go beyond the gate. And, well, after coming back for a little bit of sidetracking, it's about time we get back onto the real plot. So, that's exactly what I tend to do. It's a plot day. I mean, I would hold. If I got sidetracked now, I'd feel like an idiot. So, I'm going to try to not look like an idiot. Hopefully. And if I can't, then I suck. Okay, there it is. I thought this was the tree one. I couldn't tell. Anyway. Yeah, um. So, I noticed another one of my videos had a freaking skipping issue. God damn it. Ugh. Ow! God damn you! Okay, fine. You want a battle? You got one. So yeah, I apologize for all the freaking times my capture device decides to just start not recording some instances. I'm working on making sure that doesn't happen again. I'm learning methods to not overwork my, uh, I think it's my computer. It's a little weaker than I'd like it to be, but it's the computer I've used for years. And well, it's usually treating me right. I just haven't been treating it right back. That's all. So hopefully we don't have that kind of issue again. I'm really hoping I can be calm with it so it can be calm with me. Oh no, not another! Oh, you all insist on dying, don't you? Well, don't mind if I do! So yeah, I hope I, hope I can promise which I'm going to try to. That kind of skipping crap won't happen again. So, yeah. Expect better quality from me. At least that's what I'd want to say. I hope I'm right. I hope it's better quality. Well, since I'm near the mansion anyway, I'll get everything I can. See, now the flower saver only costs 5 FP every attack instead of 6. Like, yes! That's one more attack I get out of that. For every FP I do get, it's even more valuable. So yeah. I I freaking love this thing. It's definitely one of the best badges you can get. Especially if you frequently use these. Well, I did buy a happy flower. I guess that's another one you could probably use in its place. If you didn't have enough FP for the flower saver. But you only get one FP every once in a while. And it doesn't account till like the end of the turn. So, or at least after Mario's turn, I don't think. Either way, yeah. Hmm. All right, anyway, before I forget, I think I'm gonna turn stuff in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Did I turn a strange leaf in? I think I did. I'll double check. Hello, everybody. I'm a back! Do you take care of, care of Tubba Bubba? No! I didn't even go there! I went back to my house to whack off a little bit. That's all. Oh, God. Too much information. What? What did you die like that? Maybe. Ew. That's weird. Oh, yeah. Let me see. I can check in three more items. Well, let's put the nutty cake back in. And that should be good. I don't know for sure, but... Well, I did mention the fact that we work on the recipes. Well, I don't think there's a way to, like, randomly generate recipes. Like, some of the later games happen to have a formula for you to be able to generate random recipes if you're lucky. I don't think this one, like, the mystery, for example, could do that. I don't think they're thinking that far ahead. But if they were, good props to them. I'll give them that. Probably a smart move the way they did it. Mystery. <laughs> God damn it. All right, well, whatever. And with that, we're through. I probably should have saved it. Whatever. Let's go. 
It's finally time to move on to Gusty Gulch. Oh, God! Go ahead, open it. I forgot we had you. I haven't been showing you off, have I? Don't worry. We'll be able to manage out you, bitch. So, Mario, we're on our way. Are you scared? No! Sure you aren't. Bitch! Oh, yeah. I've been... I did notice I was forgetting some spin panels. Looking back, I was like, yeah, there's definitely a few more I could have gotten. But whatever. It's my best. Ow! Why didn't I attack him? Oh, yeah, I remember why. I need to tattle on him. I'm a tattletale, bitch. This is a hyper pair Goomba. Hyper pair Goombas are hyper Goombas with wings. Jeez, a little wordy there, don't you think? Max HP 7, attack power 1, defense power 0. That's pretty weak. You sometimes charge your power before attacking. That charge attack will take away 8 HP. So watch out when they start to glow. Jesus! It'll miss you if you can become transparent. Except for that, there's no different from normal pair of Goombas. So use a jump attack to defeat them. Good to know. So, yeah. Now we have enemies that can charge for a turn to basically have a super devastating attack. Otherwise, they're complete whips. Huh. Odd that his health bar is still there, because I haven't tattled the Goomba version. So let's do that now. This is a Hyper Goomba. Hyper Goombas are crazy, uncivilized Goombas living in Gusty Gulch. Max HP 7, attack power 1, defense power 0. Wow, so rogue. They sometimes charge their power for attacking. Get charge attack will take away 8 HP. So watch out when they start to glow. <laughs> it's a good idea to use bow or an item that, to become transparent. The attack will miss for sure. Good to know. I mean, I pretty much figured they're the same as a Hyper Paragon. Oh yeah, notice that uh, jumping now? I do not like that jump animation. It, it gets really off. All right, why don't we show off Bo now? I love Bo. At least in this part of the game, I do. Bo is one heck of a partner. What do you have, this jump? Well, he turns into a spin jump, so now it's really slow. Another reason why I don't have power bounce on now, because of that. All right, let's slap this enemy. Oh man, you're gonna mess with the freaking really messed up joystick for that? Oh god, that's the glow for the strong attack. But remember, you get hit with that, it's 8 HP. I'll show it off now. The way to dodge it, of course, we have smack to kill him, but there's out of sight, which can make Mario transparent so he can avoid enemy attacks. I would mostly recommend this before Mario even makes a after Mario makes a move, but just to show it off now, I can hide. Ow! Haha! -ha, take that, you bitch! So, yep, you give it a straight up miss. However, Bo cannot attack at the end of the turn, but Mario still can. It's a little broken in that regard. Ah, oh, thanks for the double experience. I guess it's worth it. Thanks. But yep, when you fight, have something that has a really strong attack, dodge it with Bo. She will help you greatly with that. Oh. I'm to kill you. Oh, well, I'll make it work. Smack, smack, booty, smack. Did he smack? I don't know. <laughs> oh no, you're all gonna charge. The good thing is, they all charge together. So, you don't have to worry about like one charging one turn, and then you can't use out of sight the next turn so that another one charges. Because, you know, that would be incredibly broken. Oh, there. I almost did the wrong thing there. I could show off taking a lot of damage, but that's a stupid thing to show off. <laughs> I'm going to be taking a lot of damage later in the game anyway, so what's the point of doing it now? Besides, I already take a lot of damage just playing. Damn. Oh no, he's charging again. Oh god. I should have killed him when I had the chance. I did. <laughs> really, man? <laughs> what do you think two charged attacks in a row are going to help you? Oh good. Good, a dried shroom. Just what I needed. <laughs> oh, God, what a waste of energy. Anyway, let's get going. So, yeah, we're already here at Gusty Gold. Oh, God. Oh, Lady Bo, what a surprise seeing you. You know, your ladyship, you really shouldn't come around here. It's dangerous. Double Blubba could come here at any time. 
I know. I came here to teach that tub of a lesson. Bring him on. When was the last time he came through here? Why, just yesterday, lady. It was horrible. He, uh, this time he ate Herbert. Oh, it was gruesome. Poor Herbert. He was so dark and depressing. What a terrific boo. Oh, no, not Herbert. Oh, Tubba Blubba, he must be stopped. Jesus, Herbert's really that special? Listen, everyone, don't fear. We're on our way to defeat this Tubba Blubba once and for all. That monster has eaten his last boo meal. Oh, lady, your bravery's inspiring. But you know he's called the Invincible Tubba Blubba. Please be careful, okay? Yeah. Here, good Mario, why don't you and me go explore the town a bit? Oh, there's a block in there. Wasn't that nice? Buddy, you know you can walk slowly and slowly by moving the control stick a little bit? You can use this technique to walk quietly and avoid waking sleeping people. The old, one of the only uses for walking is actually in this chapter. <laughs> you gotta watch out when you fight Hyper Goobas. You charge up their attack power, then unleash it. The best they can do when they get charged up is to get out of sight with Lady Bow. What? You know, that could just be a normal sentence. You don't have to capitalize it. Eh, well, I don't tell people how to speak. I had a friend who escaped from Double Lobo's castle the other day. He said... The key to solving the secret is inside the innermost room. Pay attention to both the heart and body. And don't. Then just as he was finishing Tubba Blubba ate him. God damn it! I wonder what the rest of his message was. Yeah, I wonder. Don't get eaten. Way to live up to that message, bud. Well, I didn't mean to eat that, but then again, this item is pointless. Gotta make sure I don't hit the freaking right stick to the left. My bad. Ooh, hello. Boo, I guess. Boo? <laughs> Poor effort. Sorry, I had a weird dream last night. <laughs> this dream voice said, Sometimes you must turn and run away. You must run and run until you reach the Tower of the Spinning Veins. What? Something like that, anyway. What can he mean? Tower of the Spinning Veins? I don't know. My friend escaped from Tubba Loba's castle. He claims that Tubba Loba hides something incredibly important right next to his bed. I wonder what it could be. Hmm. I mean, a lot of people hide stuff on their bedside. Oh, what do you want? Hello there. You're going to have to beat Tubba Loba, right? Yeah, get revenge. He'll never eat another ghost. Never! Especially not... Oh, God! So that's him, huh? Oh, oh, no! Double Blubba's coming! Everybody, hide! Lady Bo, you have to hide Mario! You, smash with me! Jesus! Is this good Mario? <laughs> what the hell, bitch? Mario, we have to hide! Use my power! Immediately press down C! I don't know, I kind of want to see the action going on here. God damn it! Okay, fine! So that's how out of sight works in the overworld. Press down C, hide. Which can hide from something like this. Everything's cool, lady. He can't see you. Nope. There's no way Toe Blubba can see you right now. Oh. Uh. You should have. Oh, God. Oh, look, yummy. I need a snack. Damn. Just eat them all up whole. That's nice. A little tiny, but good. <laughs> you. Who's this Bowser wanna be? My God. What a loser. Oh! Stanley! Oh, the horror of it all! Stanley, no! <laughs> I'll kill him. Don't worry, I'll kill the big ugly bastard for you. Oh, great. I noticed another new enemy. Haha, <laughs> it's another cleft, baby. Yeah, and this one's an asshole. This is a hyper cleft. Hyper clefts have more defense power than normal clefts. No crap. Max P4, attack power 3, defense power 3. Jesus, that defense. Come on, man. They sometimes charge their power before attacking. That charged attack will take away 8 HP, so watch out when they start to glow. Oddly not stronger than the Hyper Goombas for some reason. It'll miss you if you can become transparent. Their defense power will fall to 1 if you can use an explosion to flip them over. And in case you hadn't noticed, they have spikes up top. It'll hurt if you jump on them. I didn't think it would. So thank you for reminding me. Oh, and now since I power smash, I can do two extra attack power, so... Oh! Makes the stuff easy. Oh, oh, God! Oh, oh, oh! What the hell's wrong with you, dude? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, God, no! Oh, I'm gonna go crazy! I'm gonna fucking... Ah! Calm the fuck down, dude. Jesus. Hyperactivity is the disorder. Uh... I wouldn't say that much, but okay. Oh, yes! A dizzy dial. Let me take it. You know, this might actually be useful. I never try to use it, but maybe I should. I don't appreciate some items as much as I should. And this is one of them. Yeah, that has a half shadow? What the hell? What happened to that block? 
gonna like mess up with the textures or something? Eh, I won't worry about it. All right, I'll multi bounce. And see, that's why I hate doing freaking power bounce and multi bounce with this stomp. Because goddamn the timing. It's so much slower than the original one. It's a pain in my ass to try and get through that timing. Oh, you bastards. Well, thank you for that. At least I can kill him this turn. I guess that's what I wanted. Oh, oh. See, that extra boost of attack power can be quite incredible. So, yeah, it has a lot of uses in that regard. I really love the the, spur, the spells. They help out so much. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I guess I can talk more about the flower saber. You notice how everything drops by one? So, yeah, all the things that cost two FP now cost one. That's half right there. Like, just for those attacks alone, the flower saber is already a godsend. You can use those attacks twice as much. Like, yeah, man. However, if you notice that, uh, Gubario had charged, could do one FP. That was another letter, God damn you, Pear Carry! Gubario normally had a charge attack done one FP. It still does. Unfortunately, with Flower Saber, you can't get rid of the FP entirely for an attack. So, you have to be able to at least, yeah. You still have to use at least one FP for every attack. So, unfortunately, you can't stack it that well. If only we could. But no. Uh, it would have been nice to not have to spend FP for once. Then again, for me, that attack is still a waste of a turn. Except for some instances. But that won't be for a while from now. So I'm not going to worry about it. Ah! I guess you're dying now. Oh my god, there's four of them! What the hell? All right, fine. Wasted. Wasted. God damn it! Ugh. All right, I'll show you what for. Bah! How'd that feel? Ow! Oh! Ha! The death by single smack. My favorite way of death. For them, anyway. All right, then. Oh, yeah. I do have freaking refresh. I could use that. <laughs> I keep thinking I'm going to run out of FP. I still have refresh. God damn it. I should use that soon. <laughs> uh, it's fun watching all of you miss. It really is. Just think about the fact I could nearly die if I didn't use out of sight for that. So don't think of not using out of sight. You will regret it greatly. I assure you. <laughs> You will highly regret it. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Stop wasting my time. Just let me kill you. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fine, let's do refresh now. I'm only doing it because I know I'm not going to get a heart block for a while. So I tell you this much, we're a good bit away from one. Oh, I do is get the Tumble Bowl's Castle. Thankfully, this chapter is actually very straightforward. You just have to go through that forest, get to the mansion, get bow, and then we go forward. And the dungeon's pretty much just straight ahead. So yeah. This chapter is probably the shortest one. At least if I had to say, actually. Eh, well, just within the chapter itself, yes. If you're wondering about that phrasing, there's a reason I phrase it that way. Oh my god, could you guys calm down with this shit for one goddamn turn? My god, just stop. <laughs> just stop. My god, I'm hiding from this embarrassment. <laughs> Old god cartwheel! How does he end up back there anyway? Does he just go around to the outside? He's like, oh, oh god, oh god, he can't see me. No, 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 don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> You're a dumbass. Well, I may as well refuel my FP again, because I can kill you next turn. I don't want to take the time to focus, personally. I hate doing that. It feels like a waste of a turn to have to do that. It only fills up half a freaking meter. Although, the deep focus does 
give you more. I don't know if it gives you a whole star energy meter, but it does help if you want, only want to focus every once in a while. Just having deep focus. It's only one BP. So if you really like to use your star power, deep focus is a very good badge to have on you. Oh good, more money. I actually wanted that. I'll get a bunch of money off this guy. Yes. It's beautiful. All right, Bombette, do your magic again. Oh, God! Oh, it's a good thing I know how to attack. Ow! Well, this is unfortunate. You know what else is unfortunate? The death. Ah! <laughs> oh, they're so helpless. <laughs> oh, it's so fun to kill them. Just like Koopas, they're stuck in the ground for a turn. Give them two, though, they'll come out. So, you know, kill them while they're down there. <laughs> Not fair! Short falls for being made of spikes and being able to be flipped by a freaking bomb! Moron? I should've just focused. God damn, I gotta remember that more. If you're gonna not use Mario for a turn, you may as well focus if you don't have star energy because that will make it much more useful. Also, I repel gel. Oh, yeah. I should probably actually save the repel gel because that's too useful an item to just use just to show it off. I say I love the repel gel, as I'm sure a lot of people do. I'll save it for a useful encounter. For now, I'll kick your ass. Come on, you hyper bastards. Somebody's got to get you checked into that clinic. It ain't gonna be me. It should be you. Check yourself out. It's for your own good that you do so. Hyperactivity is something you need to work on. Use your energy on a hobby or something. Come on. Get into... What is it? Get into painting. I mean, sure? <laughs> get into painting. Sculpture. Um, construction. Uh... Thing and you guys don't really have hands. Pretty much none of those would work out for you. Then again, you can hold a freaking bat with your telekinetic powers. So, I don't know what's stopping you. I wonder sometimes. I really do. Oh, well. Just another one of the mysteries of the creatures of the Mushroom Kingdom. That the freaking Goombas secretly have telepathic powers. Or telekinetic. Telekinetic, that's the one. I was hoping you would have done this in the last battle. But thanks anyway, Merly. Uh, that will do. Oh, yes! Another dried shroom! Yes! And a super shroom now. All right. Well, that's useful. Oh, God, no! I always hate that charge. Ooh. We have some badasses over here. Ha-ha! <laughs> Not so badass now, are ya? Cool. All right, I'll try a little bounce. Hopefully, I'll succeed. You just gotta get used to the timing. You just gotta wait for that rotation to go through to really nail the timing down. Oh, <laughs> come on! That would have been a much better battle to do the doubling star points for. Damn you, Merle, you bitch. Oh. Oh, well. Can't always be that lucky. Can't always be lucky like I was a Tutankoopa. Koopa. Or Tutankoopa, Koopa, however the hell you pronounce it. Meh, I'm not one to worry too much about pronunciation. Well, Goombara, we're gonna need you out soon because we're in a new location. And, uh, oh boy. Ha! Huh. This is gonna be a fun one. So, yep, here we are. This is happened to be the place, Tumble Bubba's Castle. But we're gonna end the episode now. This is my intention to actually get this far. So, yeah. Good on us. That's all the time we have for this episode. Come back next time and we'll actually enter Tumblebus Castle and take care of the ghost-eating fiend. Although, here's a thought. If the ghost can be invisible, why can't they just stay hidden from it? Oh, they tried and that one didn't. But he looks stupid. Just hide in plain sight and I'm sure he won't be able to find you. Really? Is everybody really this stupid in this world? God damn it!